Well, there is a push this weekend for people to participate in the Waukesha Strong Community Tile Project. It's a way the community is honoring the victims of the 2021 Christmas parade attack. A well-known Waukesha artist is behind the project, but Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne explains who's helping her bring this whole thing together. The greater your storm, the brighter your rainbow. There are hundreds of messages inside artist Carmen De La Paz's workshop. Live like Jackson. Each one embodies the spirit of Waukesha Strong. I knew this would be healing in the process, and I'm seeing it firsthand by speaking to the people who have been affected by it. De La Paz has spent months helping people in Waukesha engrave clay tiles. They'll be part of the parade memorial at Grady Park. The city needs 750 tiles for the wall. This is definitely a passion project. Running out of room, De La Paz quickly realized she can't do this alone. This is a way to show uh, what we can do for them. Waukesha South junior Maxwell Hennis is a student in Cody Gallus's ceramics class. Right now in the studio, there's over 300. There's a lot of tiles to come, and there's a lot of tiles here right now. Students in South's marching band were among the 60 injured when Daryl Brooks drove through the parade. He killed six people. Their small part of just glazing can be hopefully therapeutic for some of them, but like it's still impacting students for sure. Gallus says his students were eager to help. There are more kilns here at Waukesha South than any other school in the district, and once they go in, they'll be fired at 2100 degrees. I think it also comes full circle for them. Those students were involved, they get to heal, they get to help the community heal. That's the goal of the project, showing Waukesha is in this together. Waukesha strong, never forget. In Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Everyone is welcome to visit Waukesha Public Library this Saturday from 10 until 2 to engrave a tile. The cost, $25 per tile, and that money will be used to help the Grady Park Memorial. The city still needs to raise $75,000. They plan to dedicate that memorial in November to mark the three-year anniversary of the attack.